With a 30-year fixed mortgage rate firmly above 6%, it is not a surprise that mortgage demand continues to drop. And that is not the only thing dropping. Home values are as well. Diana Olick joining us live today right here at CNBC. It's great to see everybody in person. Great to be Although here. I did see you in D.C. a few months ago. But what's happening with housing? Well, it's like you said, you know, mortgage demand is down because homeowner buyer demand is way down because mortgage rates are all way up. And all of that is finally hitting home prices. Prices dropped 0.77% from June to July, according to Black Knight. It was the largest monthly drop since January of 2011, even though it didn't sound like a lot, and the first monthly drop of any size in over two years. So roughly 85% of major markets have seen prices come off their peaks through July, with one-third coming down more than 1% and about 1 in 10 falling by 4% or more. So after gaining trillions of dollars in home equity collectively during the first two years of the pandemic, some homeowners are now losing some of that mm. housing wealth. So-called tappable equity, which is the amount of a homeowner can borrow while keeping 20% equity in the property, it hit its 10th straight quarterly record high in Q2 of this year, $11.5 trillion. But May was likely the peak. Total tappable equity is now down 5% so far since May, and Q3 will show a more sizable decline. The biggest losses, of course, are where prices were highest in the mm. West, like San Jose, Seattle, San Diego, San Francisco, and L.A. But I want to make one thing clear. It is nothing like during the Great Recession, where prices crashed, millions of homeowners went underwater on their mortgages, and a massive foreclosure crisis followed. Not even close, and Brian, I cannot emphasize that enough. So, Because back then... People were taking out home equity lines to either buy 42 other apartments or a solid gold boat. <laughs> or they had bought their house with no money at all to Zero begin money with. or the ninja right. loans, no there income, no job. There was no equity. There was nothing. There was no cushion. Right now, homeowners are so little leveraged. Actually, the smallest amount of leverage on record. A, a, re a realtor friend of mine in my town in New Jersey blew my mind. And I'm lucky to live in a nice town. 31% of sales last year were all cash. No, 31, no. one third. So they don't care. They, have the equity. they don't care about interest rates. Right. So there is a pool of buyers out there that is interest rate agnostic. Yeah, but they're looking at home prices coming down, and who wants to catch a falling knife, right? Do I want to buy this house? Is it a falling knife that? or a falling spoon? I mean, is it, <laughs> is it dangerous? God, I miss coming up here. <laughs> <laughs> you just miss me. Of course. No, nobody wants to buy something that's going to, you know, it's like a car. You walk off the lot, and it's already lost value. It's not usually that way with a house, but right now it could be. You think mortgage rates are going higher? Well, I didn't think they were going to stay over 6%, to be honest. It, they hit 6%, 6 and a little bit in June. That was when we saw the big turnaround in the housing market. And then they came down. They were close to 5% again through July and August. DR Horton said they saw a little bump up in demand because of it. Now we're back 6.25%, and it looks like that's where we're I'm going to butcher this stat, but you'll, you can correct me, please. Okay. I think it was Ivy Zellman. You know, obviously know her. Yes, and, I do. And so I think the stat was something like 80% of mortgages are under 4%. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was thinking... No, like around 3%. Three, so why would anyone move? I mean... You wouldn't. It, that's, that, the, to me, the biggest problem with housing may simply be, uh, I got a 3.3% mortgage. Yeah, I need another room. I'll wait a couple years and add on. I'm not going to give up this mortgage to take a 6.5% Exactly. Mortgage. Because you have so much home equity, so why not just add on to the house, redo the kitchen and the bathroom, whatever, because you are going to get twice, literally twice the rate you have now. And that's why we have no inventory. That's right. Well, I'm glad to see you on set as well. Me too. I'm just filling in myself. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> Look at us. I love it.